In the next few minutes, we'll show you how to properly maintain all components of the Hutch 9600 and 9700 trailer suspensions. We strongly emphasize that the maintenance procedures that we'll discuss have a significant safety purpose. Failure to maintain proper torque values on each of the suspension fasteners can result in a failure of suspension components. Further, use of any visibly worn or damaged component can result in a failure. A failure can result in loss of vehicle control and personal injury or death. Safety is the number one concern at Hutchins Industries. We urge you to follow the maintenance procedures set out in this video and in our written instructions. In this video, we'll be covering visual inspections, axle clamp group and springs, radius rods and radius rod clamp bolts, and rocker bushings and retainer bolts. Now that you've installed a quality Hutch product, you can get the full benefit of each product's maximum durability by following a simple routine maintenance plan. If properly maintained, Hutch suspensions will last longer and provide better performance than any other suspension system on the road today. The first maintenance check should be performed after an initial shakedown period, during which the components of the suspension seat in and a portion of the original clamp load on the bolted joint can be lost. After the first maintenance check, routine visual inspections, torque checks, and alignments should be performed at regular intervals throughout the life of the trailer. This is in addition to all federal, state, and industry inspection and maintenance requirements and guidelines. The first step of a maintenance check is the visual inspection. Walk around the trailer and inspect all suspension components and attachment welds for any problems, such as cracks or unexpected wear. If a component has damage, replace it with a new, genuine hutch component. Any threaded connection found to be damaged, rusted, seized, or with excessive corrosion that could affect the torque on the fasteners should not be reused. Also, if you notice any abnormal tire wear, or if the trailer is off-tracking, this could suggest an alignment issue. While a visual inspection is critical to identify obvious defects, you cannot rely on your visual inspection to determine how tight a fastener is. Use a torque wrench to check all bolts and nuts to ensure that their recommended torque values are being maintained. Review the Hutchins torque decal for the appropriate torque values for each suspension fastener. The lubricated coated torque values in the first column are for new fasteners with lubricated and coated threads. When you're installing new Hutch components, we recommend you lubricate the threads and use the torque values in this column. For maintenance checks on fasteners that have been in service, use the higher torque values in the dry thread column. Maintaining the proper torque on the bolts is necessary to ensure that unintended joint movement that can lead to excessive suspension wear does not occur. Now, let's look closely at the maintenance requirements for each of the suspension's main component groups. First, inspect the axle clamp group and springs. Always carefully examine the spring and axle clamp components for any signs of wear or cracks and replace if visible wear or cracks are present. Check the torque on the U-bolt nuts by alternately tightening opposing corners of the clamp assembly. When using 7 8 inch U-bolts, the torque on the nuts should be maintained at a dry level of 470 to 564 pound-feet. When using 3 4 inch U-bolts, the torque on the nuts should be maintained at a dry level of 420 to 460 pound-feet. Now, move forward and check the radius rods. If you're working on the 9700 model suspension, the 1-inch radius rod attachment bolts at the hangers and spring seats should be maintained at a dry torque level of 720 to 864 pound-feet. This applies to both the adjustable and non-adjustable radius rods. If you're working on the 9600 model suspension, the 7 8 inch radius rod attachment bolts at the hangers and spring seats should be maintained at a dry torque level of 470 to 564 pound-feet. Loose operation of the radius rod bolts can result in wear, requiring that new hutch components be installed to avoid structural damage. During your visual inspection, if you observe any wear or loosening in the bushing, it is imperative that you immediately replace the radius rod bushing and bolt. Failure to replace these components will result in damage to the hanger, spring seat, and or the radius rod. In many cases, it's easier to replace the entire radius rod assembly instead of just the bushings. Next, 
Check the 5 8 inch radius rod clamp bolts. These bolts should be maintained at a dry level of 170 to 204 pound-feet of torque. If the clamp bolt has not been properly maintained, then wear between the radius rod screw and the eye end will occur. If so, the entire radius rod must be replaced. Simply retightening the clamp bolt or replacing it will not correct the problem. On to the rocker bushings. Again, visually inspect the condition of all rockers and rocker hanger assembly components and replace if damage in the bushing or connection is present. It's normal for the rocker to wear slowly, just like it's normal to see the front and rear hangers wear as the steel springs of the suspension move to protect the cargo from the road. Keeping the rocker connection tight will ensure that you get the most life out of your suspension. If the center rocker hanger connections are not installed with the huck bolt fasteners, the single 1 and 1 8 inch rocker bolt should be maintained at a dry level of 790 to 948 pound-feet of torque for both the 9600 and 9700 model suspensions. During your check if the huck fastener or rocker bolts are loose, a detailed inspection of the rocker is important to ensure that no structural damage has occurred. Finally, check all of the 5 8 inch spring retainer bolts found in the rockers and rear hangers. A dry torque value of 50 to 60 pound-feet should be maintained on all of these bolts. Be careful not to over-tighten the retainer bolts. To review, maintenance checks, routine visual inspections, torque checks, and alignments should be performed at regular intervals throughout the life of the trailer. This is in addition to all federal, state, and industry inspection and maintenance requirements and guidelines. Walk around the trailer and visually inspect all suspension components and attachment welds for any problems, such as cracks or unexpected wear, and replace the component if necessary. Using the Hutchins Torque Decal as a reference, use a torque wrench to check all bolts and nuts to ensure that the recommended torque values are being maintained. Replace any threaded connections that are damaged or corroded. Inspect the spring and axle clamp components for any signs of wear or cracks and replace if necessary. Check the torque on the U-bolt nuts by alternately tightening opposing corners of the clamp assembly. Using the Hutchins Torque Decal as a reference, check the radius rods to ensure proper torque levels are maintained. If you observe any visible wear or loosening in the bushing, immediately replace the radius rod bushing and bolt. Visually inspect the condition of all rockers and rocker hanger assembly components and replace if necessary. If the rocker bolts are loose, check the hangers and bushings for damage. Replace if necessary. Finally, check all of the spring retainer bolts found in the rockers and rear hangers and make sure they're at the proper torque levels. Tighten if needed. Following any maintenance procedures or repairs, the trailer's axle alignment should be examined and adjusted to comply with the Truck and Trailer Manufacturers Association, or TTMA, recommended practice RP number 71, and the Maintenance Council, or TMC, recommended practice RP 708D. Remember, loose fasteners that are allowed to operate for any period of time will result in irreversible suspension damage and possible loss of vehicle control. Simply retightening a worn fastener will not correct the situation created by loose operation. So maintain the proper torque levels and enjoy the long life and dependability of a hutch suspension. Torque decals are shipped with the suspension. If for any reason additional decals are wanted, contact our customer service department at 800-654-8824 or fax 417-862-2317 and decals will be shipped promptly at no charge. If your particular suspension is not addressed in this video, please contact Hutchins for more information.